Hey man, we're saving the world! It's red! It's so red! We're saving the world! We're getting all the toxins out of the earth and into my body! No wait, that's not right! That's kind of... But that's the game! That's what you do, dude! It's red! Double Fine made this game! It's really good! Double Fine! <laughs> yeah, so this is Double Fine's take on a roguelike and... I gotta admit, I am surprised, impressed, and I love it. I like it. It it sort of feels like, for me, it feels like what a roguelike torchlight, uh, walk around 3D beat 'em up almost. But what I was thinking when you were playing it, because you can buy from stores and other stuff. I don't know if you're gonna get this uh, same impression, but it really felt like okay. Um, Square Enix is not going to revisit uh, probably Secret of Evermore as far as I know, but it felt like what if Secret of Evermore was remade in the 80s style in a world that like is dying or dead and that's the impression I got or like you know I could even go like the extra mile and say like what if we've got the 80s plus Splatoon's like crazy colors and wackiness and put it mesh it with secret evermore and then you come up with rad see the see the uh the idea i got was basically it kind of feels to me like fallout if it was if double fine had the had the reins of it the license like yeah yeah if, if somebody told double fine to make a uh, uh fallout spin-off yeah, just the whole like going back to like a main area and just opening up like temples, it kind of reminded me a little bit of um, like uh, a little bit of Breath of Fire. Breath of the Wild. Or Wild, mean. yeah, sorry, I'm getting two different RPGs mixed up. Breath of the Wild, like, but not completely in the same sense because there's, but I think my comparison with like Torchlight, but like, like an 80s, like a splash of the 80s. That's what it really feels like. Torchlight 2 mixed in with like the 80s. I guess you can say it's kind of torch light. Haha. <laughs> torch rad, torch lit. <laughs> lit. Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, I felt like it was a little bit, you know, sometimes with games where I don't feel that like initial zing, like it's hard to explain like when I p first play a game I feel that like zing and you sort of like I get this and I didn't really feel that with this I felt like it was solid but I just didn't feel like I had an urge to keep on like gaming more. <laughs> keep on gaming yeah all right no more keep on gaming but no I just didn't ha feel that like I have to keep beating the dungeons like it's cool that you get like add-on abilities and like you have a flaming skull when you're like at super one point, raging yeah. or whatever. No, like okay, so it gives you like randomized power ups. So yeah. one run through, I got a burning skull. You had a, you had like a death row of eggs that I don't think you've used. No, I didn't use it. I was just sort of like, I wasn't button mashing, but I was just trying to see like what the yeah. next stage would look like. And then you noticed that like when we first started one dash one, the crack lands. It changed. Yeah, it changed from like a, a dusty like Arizona dead land to like a, like uh, a barren land to like a purplish marsh. Yeah, marshy toe jam and earl almost stage. Yeah, and I mean it's kind of, it kind of makes sense because toe jam and earl also did that whole procedurally generated area. Yeah, to me uh, this definitely feels like a five to ten dollar game. Uh, I think it was going for like fifteen or so, but. Um, if you really love like the sort of exploring sort of Diablo almost like it's not really Diablo but uh, it's a good roguelike yeah roguelike exploration 3d exploration game yeah. that's what I feel like yeah if you're tired of having a roguelikes take place in fancy times that's what I was gonna say like if you want something that's a bit more kind of more modernized with a uh, different I, I would even say it's a good it's a better it's a good take on the uh, like this is a unique take on the post-apocalyptic style yeah I would say like it, it, there's I'm not gonna say there's nothing like this but I feel like it's got a unique take on um, me 
take on me. Yeah, it's, it's got a unique take and I can't think of anything that like, has this look to it. It's got its own sense of style for sure. And it's a lot of 80s references and jokes, um, which really make it uh, interesting. I'd say it's like a short verse game. Like I hate to hate to say that, but like I don't feel myself. It's not like if it was like Final Fantasy VI where you're you're playing for the story. I feel like you're you're playing to see like what references come up more than like yeah. There is a bit of a story. The story. There is a bit this. of a story in this game. And that's yeah. really cool. Like it's it's like sprinkled across where like you have like this narrator talk about stuff and because it's a rogue like. It's, it's mostly like random and sporadic, so it's not like... Yeah, that's why I feel like... I guess that's why I don't feel like I'm progressing so much, so I, I sort of can take it or leave it in that sense. Like, if it was like Chrono Trigger or like Final Fantasy VI, I feel... You know, I think I'd feel like more... Uh, like, I have to find out what happens. I just have to find out, like, what happens. Like, I just feel like there's not that narrative, like... It's not like an overarching narrative, it's just like morsels. Just an arc. Yeah. yeah. So I give this a nine out of ten. It's, it's I'd pretty say fun. it's pretty solid. I'd say like I'd give it probably an eight point five. It's just uh just I, without that like overarching arc, I feel like I, I don't feel compelled to keep playing it as much. Yeah. I think the only thing holding me back from giving it like the perfect ten out of ten is just the whole idea of like, like, I think, you, you know, I don't, I don't have any really good reasons why it's not a 10 out of 10. So you know what? 10 out of 10. <laughs> there you go. A 10 and 8.5. So 18.5. Yeah. We were talking about, we were talking about the other day about how we don't really have any huge disagreements. No. But like, here's like a 2.5 disagreement right there. There you go. This is why you don't learn to read. Watch videos. Keep on gaming. That's rad. <laughs> Keep on ratting off.